Oh, I feel like I've interrupted a party. Oh man, who invited him? Does it, does it end any other way? Hello and welcome to Today After Gamecraft, where I've had a moment of revelation. Well, I've had a couple moments of revelation. One of the ideas I've had is that in the past I've always made it a point to make the end of my series be about killing the Ender Dragon, finding a portal room. But really, we're, we're trying to build a pirate village. I want to have a complete finished pirate village extraordinaire. So I don't care about the Ender Dragon. So I think what we want to do is go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon and um, get the benefits of what's in the end. All the stonework and stuff that you'd like to use and all the benefits that come from having uh, stuff you can only acquire in the end. But that's not today. That was a big tease. Sorry. Today I want to build... Well, I want to build one of these. A skull. I want a skull as one of my features on the island. So let's go ahead and take a look at the overview of the island. So things stay relatively the same with our schooner, our small two-master right here, and then the big pirate vessel, pride of place out here in the bay. And then we'll build our dock, and I was thinking of a steamship, like a tramp steamer here, and then maybe a side-wheeler paddle pirate boat there. And I thought I should build this cave entrance shaped like a skull right here by the trigger of our gun shape and have some kind of an underground space. But that's pretty low ground, so I went eh. But here we have high ground. We put the skull in there, we can build a cave system inside and have a little bit of fun. So that's the plan. All right, this is my first design. I was gonna go with an eight by eight. Kinda looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> I convinced myself it needed to be black, you know, and then I fell in love with Bone Block. And I convinced myself that Bone Block was the winner. And this is pretty interesting, and I'll be honest with you, except for a small accident of fate, this would have been the design. However, it's gonna take about 20 stacks of bone to make what you're looking at with sidewalls to finish it to the hillside, and that is a no-go. I don't know where I'm gonna get 20 stacks of bone. And bone is hard to come by, okay? And I can't find a skeleton spawner. And I can't uh, seem to find enough bone out in the nether. So I thought, what about other white stone? This is the quartz, not quartz. So what's this stuff called? Calcite. Not bad. I didn't bother to put the eyes in. That's just good old cement. Not bad. And that's, uh, that's uh, quartz from uh, Quartzite. Eh. Going back to Blackstone, I thought, what about um, polished uh, basalt, I think it is. And that's not bad, but the real winner was I was in the nether and I found a block of this type of basalt in my inventory. I must, I must have made it accidentally. But it has this weird, almost tribal pattern to it. And it's rather satisfying in its composure. And because it's dark, but not black, it'll fit the island real nice. And then I gave it this kind of weird tiki god vibe. I was gonna go for a shape like a wither skeleton skull, but that just wasn't very scary. This is big enough to get a boat into as well. So that'll be fun. So there's your winner right there. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper and easier to acquire than Bone Block. All right, narration over fast footage. One of my favorite ways of making anything. So I start off just going to go ahead and build my columns up. This is one of those blocks whose orientation depends on how you set it. So in order to get it to start looking organic, first I just decided to set it and then we'll reorient blocks as we go. I was playing with steps to try and make a nose. I was never able to get the nose looking right using steps turned upside down or sideways or whatever, so I ended up having to say no to the nose. But the skull does begin to take shape. Um, here I went through some tests to see if different colored glass blocks would make different eye patterns, and black turned out to be the winner. So we set the black in with the glass around it, 
and then we just kind of flood a chamber, a safety chamber with lava. And hey presto, we get our, our eyes. Then it was just a matter of finishing back to the hillside. Basically my plan was to make a box and then try and break the edges of the box to get irregularities like you see here. And that helps it, I guess, be a little bit more organic. I'm trying not to overdo this. You could go insane on this and I probably will add as I go and this will probably end up looking different as it ages. Uh, and other projects take place around it. All right, let's take a look at what we've got so far. I shot some video of this work, but it just isn't engaging enough to uh, make a worthwhile uh, video. Uh, we're in a river right now that's going to allow us to go from our skull cave. Hold on. I've been spelunking and it's nice to know what level I'm at. So, um, it's going to be a river that flows all the way out to the other side of the island. We're down at the trigger of the uh, pistol of our island. And that's going to flow in from this lagoon here. So it's going to have some depth to it. So this is weird. Wait a second. There's an awful lot of thinking going on behind the scenes here. I... Well, this is very weird. Did you goof it up, man? The game reset. I, hold on. Ooh, what has gone on? Oh, we are in the middle of a mystery here. Well, geez, either way, that should be covered in stalactites. This too, I didn't notice it. Well, that is very weird. Why did that happen? I still think you goofed up. Um, okay. Let me check. Do I have those? Uh, I still have quite a few of those, but that's very weird. <laughs> Alrighty. So we have an amethyst cave. It's not accurate now because there should be uh, quite a bit more fill in here. The water level is going to come in right over here between the teeth, see the changes, yeah, between the teeth. So we'll flow in and be able to go down that throat there to the other side. I do suspect that that should all line up correctly. And we will have more stalactites, I promise. Let's, uh, let's go for a swim. First, I wanna point out that we are on the top of the skull here. I've left this light hole in and uh, we've added some blocks and random structures. I'm going to try and get some vines to grow off of this thing. All right, so night has fallen and I think that's when the skull gives us uh, its best side. I went ahead and gave uh, a gold tooth there. We, we switched over to quartz. I am thinking that the bone just hit me that the bone might actually look better than the quartz. We'll give that a try. But either way, um, <clears throat> I didn't use the uh, lava under the eye from the previous trials. I may go back and give it another test. Still working on trying to figure out how to add some extra blocks to the surface of this thing to break up the sort of squareness of it. But overall, I, I call this uh, uh, satisfactory. Um, I'm happy with it. This is, this is kind of what I imagined. You'll sail in, you can go through the throat, come out the other side, get some hanging garden stuff going. It's gonna be cool. Oh yeah, uh, what's that in the background? That is copper. Apparently I'm waiting for it to weather. I want it to get kind of green. I'm gonna make a like a tramp steamer type pirate boat or something. Um, I think I have to look up some pictures, but I don't know. Is there a way to make them weather? Hello, I don't know. Uh, but they said I guess that's what we do. We stack them up and wait. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Not so daft GameCraft Ghost of Builds pretty wicked skull. I've been Gosip, you've been great.